Hi, I'm Chelsea DeRossi. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist working out of Manhattan Beach, California, and virtually as well. And I specialize in working with children, families, and adults who've experienced grief, loss, or trauma. And I also happen to be a registered art therapist. So um, what that means is I'd like to talk with you today about uh, what art therapy is, but uh, more importantly, how you can use art on your own at home to enhance your wellness journey. So art therapy is essentially what it sounds like. I use art in the therapy process to encourage you to look at your feelings, um, explore your feelings and process them in maybe a different way, and then communicate that with others. You could see how this would be really helpful for children because children uh, learn and grow and develop in a way that's uh, visual at first, right? They touch things, they look to visual cues from adults and peers um, much before they are able to verbally process what's going on. So uh, it's a lot easier for a child to um, simply draw or paint a picture about something that happened versus asking them to tell the story or the narrative of it, um, especially if then you're asking them to communicate feelings as well. So um, I'll use paint or um, sand or drawing, whatever is kind of available that the kid responds to um, and allow the child to just process through their feelings in the art. Um, similar with adults, I will encourage them to explore their feelings or pick an image or draw an image that relates to an emotion that they have and we're able to look at that imagery in a way that it enhances our understanding of what they're they're experiencing and be able to support them in processing that in a potentially different way. Um, sometimes we'll use collage with adults because that um, feels more comfortable or it feels safer to start with something where you're not having to draw or paint. Um, and it can be a little cathartic to look through the magazine and look for images that you feel represent feelings for you. Um, interestingly enough too, we know that art um, is a right brain activity. So what that means is it's activated in the right side of your brain. That's also the side where um, the memory center is. So especially for uh, grievers, where you're talking about and wanting to remember memories and experiences you had with your loved one, it would be important for you to be able to use art because art when you're creating it will activate the neural connectivity to that same center of the brain. Um, so how can you use this at home? Well, you can uh, try the different materials, try the different uh, art mediums. I encourage you to explore what feels comfortable for you. Um, but I would, I, su I would suggest that you um, try to focus on the process of creating something rather than the end result product. Oftentimes, if we get stuck thinking about how a picture or a painting is gonna look, it takes away from the process of creating. So focus on how the brush feels in your hand or how the clay feels through your fingers or the pencil on the paper and try and enjoy the process of creating because that's what's gonna help you heal and build resilience. I encourage you to try some art at home and I wish you all the best. Take care.